Yo, what is up guys, it is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy back again today with another video. And today's video is about quarterbacks to avoid slash that you should not draft at all. And uh, before I start the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please click the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you get notified for daily videos. And there's going to be double uploads, triple uploads, quadruple uploads on certain days. And I'd like, also like to ask you to like the video and also follow me on Twitter at Notorious Fantasy. It is in the description and the subscribe button is right over here where my mouse is hovering over. So, let's get right into this one. The first quarterback I'm going to be talking about is Tom Brady, the GOAT, as some would call him. Tom Brady is currently going as pick 113, and that is the round 10 02, the second pick at round 10 in 12 team leagues. He is likely going to be picked ahead of that ADP that I just gave you. Pick 113 in the 10th round, he's going to be going way ahead of that because. In non-expert leagues, people view Tom Brady, since he's the best quarterback in real life in a lot of people's eyes, why would he not be great in fantasy? Just like I said in the second point, is he's a good real-life quarterback, but not as good in fantasy. As you can see from his last year of production, last year, he was drafted as the quarterback three off the board in 2018. And guess where he finished? The quarterback 14, which is 11 spots below where he was drafted at. So his draft capital was so high. He was going like the fifth round, and he did not put up that value. You were not having a good time if you drafted Tom Brady in a one-quarterback league. That means that he's not a quarterback one in a 12-team league. He would have finished two spots below that. It would have been a quarterback two overall. Not the quarterback two, but a quarterback uh, two overall, finishing outside of the top 12. He had seven games below 15 fantasy points. You know, that's in a four-point per passing touchdown league, so it's going to be slightly higher if you're in a six-point per passing touchdown league, but that is absolute garbage. You would have been better off picking up guys like Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson to start in certain weeks, or even guys like um, Jameis Winston could have put up better numbers than that. Even, even Fitzpatrick put up better numbers than that the, last year at certain points. He only averaged 17.5 points per game, which did not help him in finishing as a top 12 quarterback last year. The Patriots are now, in comparison to years past, are now more of a run-heavy offense. They used to be, you'd be seeing Brady th slinging the ball a lot, but now you're seeing them be more run-heavy when they got four solid running backs on their team. They got Burkhead, they got Sony Michelle, they've got James White, and they've got the rookie on their team whose name is escaping me at the moment, but is okay. Right now, he's 41 years old, and he's going to be 42 in August. So by the time the season starts, he's going to be 42. And a lot of people think Tom Tom versus time. Tom escapes time. But his, his production wouldn't say so. He's also, just the fact that he's throwing the ball less is enough reason to completely avoid him in your 2019 fantasy draft. So let's get into the next guy here. That next guy Right here is Jimmy Garoppolo going pick 133, which is the 11th round pick 9 on average in a 12-team league. Last year, he played three games, as you may know. He tore his ACL in the fourth quarter against the Chiefs in a game he was doing pretty well in. He averaged 16 fantasy points across those three games, and he was the 10th quarterback off the board that year. He obviously didn't finish as quarterback one because he only played three games, so that's not much of a knock against him considering he played... Just about okay. Not great, but okay. Those first couple of games. His hype could move him further. Oh, wait. Yeah, his hype could move him further up this board. He's currently going as the 18th off the board right now. The 18th quarterback off the board. And since a lot of people see Jimmy Garoppolo, they see he's a good-looking guy. You know, they want him to be good. They want him to be successful. But... I don't think that he could finish as a quarterback one this year, and there's a lot of guys around him, in my opinion, that have a lot better uh, fantasy values, like Dak Prescott or Josh Allen. I don't think he's going to be a bust. He's not going to completely bust where you pick him, but he's not going to. He doesn't have the high upside that I think a lot of other guys have around him. So that is the reason why I wouldn't be drafting him. I also don't really like the receiving options around him. Yes, they got Debo Samuel's, who's a rookie. How he's not going to be that in the offense because of the way that the coach works on that team. And he makes the playbook very confusing. Pettis was very confused last year on trying to figure out what to do, which routes to run. So for that reason, I think that just having Kittle and Pettis and like Coleman to 
dump the ball off to. It's going to be hard for him to finish as a top 12 quarterback. So I would pretty much avoid him completely unless you're getting him as your backup. But even then, I'd like to get a more higher upside guy than Jimmy Garoppolo in the 2019 fantasy season. The next guy we're looking at here, Derek Carr. Now, Derek Carr is a guy a couple of years ago looked like a goddamn MVP. And then he fucked up his leg, but he was looking great. He's going pick 174 right now in the draft, which is 14.05 average in a 12-team league. He's pretty much undrafted. And last year, he was taken as the 19th quarterback off the board in 2018 drafts. He finished as quarterback 18 in 2018, which means he got one slot higher. But he only averaged 13.5 fantasy points per game. You're like, oh, Nick. That's pretty good. That's like okay, you know. That was worse than Brady, but it's okay. And now you're you're sitting there, and then you're like, oh, the way he did it is because three times he put 24 plus point weeks, and one of those weeks he scored about I think 34 fantasy points. He had six out of his 16 games scoring below 9.76 points. That is terrible. You do not want that as the guy you're going to be starting, or even really as your backup in fantasy football. He hasn't been the same since his 2015 and 2016 solid quarterback seasons, getting 271.28 points in 2015 and 268 points in 2015. That means that he has been scoring 50 points plus more in those years in comparison to the past two years of his fantasy production. He's also probably going to move up the board for a reason that uh, is right here, the Hard Knocks effect. That effect means that when you're on Hard Knocks, the HBO special, there's a lot of eyes on you. Kind of like how Josh Gordon moved up the board last year. Uh, same with Jarvis Landry, because everyone, they're all eyes are on them. All eyes are going to be on the Raiders this year. He's going to go up the board. Antonio Brown's going to go up the board, and so is Josh Jacobs. And I think, as a whole, you should just completely avoid Derek Carr this fantasy season so thank you guys all for watching please click the subscribe button down here or down below please click the like button please click the notification button so you can be notified for more videos and i hope you guys all have a great goddamn day see you guys on the next video goodbye